That was close. Far, far too close. to press ahead. Some respect. Not now. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Corga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Really? We're messengers now? We'd owe you a... You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. 
Please. Anything of use? My faith protects me. How delicious. Can't slow down. Refugees, adventurers, well met. And thank you for being... Is there anything you need? But you'll need to be quick. The ritual will be complete before too long. I pray no goblin arrow his great... Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You sound just like Korga. I pray to Sylvanas each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. Not what I said. Come. Stop shouting. Again. Swing and swing. Hurry. Something's on my mind. And again. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You dare interrupt! Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Kichoki! Fine! On the road, to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. Yes, your mediocre interrogation technique notwithstanding. a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Kenyak, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the... well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... fey run.
Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Okay, fair. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails! There. Happy? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Nothing cool. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. Fine. I'm not so good at counting, but I think... Look, you caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Please, let's go. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> the guards i'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake Ugh. arabella tried to steal their idol druids lost their damn minds about it oh it's all my fault i told her i wished the wretched thing would just disappear or better yet explode now arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us that's not right 
Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! Try grease some palms. These things over. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Druid or not, you're still an outside. A moment, Giorna. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. If you insist. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <clears throat> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can make positive. You can trust me on that. No. I hate wolves. In a world of demons and dragons,
I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly f the ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly... You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Really? Some might... Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? First you urge Grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The Viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. Past teachings come into focus. A right of thorns is a rare practice, outlawed in most circles causing more harm than it eases. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of Sylvanus. You must agree. Then you know I heed his wisdom. You showed great metal at the gate. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. They're to be gone before final prayer. The Viper must strike. You will do more. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander on... You consider the Rite of Thorns. A rare art plucked from illicit domains. When the prayer ends, vines curl upwards from the earth, and thorns sprout forth. Those within are isolated, and those without, rejected. Isolation breeds violence. Few circles survive it. There is more to Korga's tale. The Grove must hide her secrets.
your hands to yourself, you'll be... ahead very well watch your back no time to rest should mind my step Give me a moment. A moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come. Follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. There's something in that vest. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain 
I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know... I've spent my life treating folk, and never once saw a Mind Flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of Mind Flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flares reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. The thing in your skull, though? It's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms, for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the play... You, though. You're one of them. Tech, if you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. Thank you. It I wish I could tell you more. But only those that... All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vile. Step out of time, Nettie. Come on. Why then, Jason? Never tried it. Mind Flayer. Keep it, in case things start to go very wrong.
Might be worth a look. Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Local history, written in riddles. That mural, they look like dark justices. By claw and tooth, from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. You recognize the druids as elders of a circle. This place is a divine sanctuary. The towers seized, the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. History or myth, whatever is depicted here is long past. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. You were at the gates just now, no? When the... A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Pardon me, I must prepare to trap. I'll tell you. If you'd be so good as to answer a few questions, but I'll make it very quick. Han, look. How would you describe that... You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins struck fear. A myth weaver. This man had. And the dragon they had marching in the rear. Was it of the brass or silver variety? The truth, my friend. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Really? Well, I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their... The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by... I, for one, intend... I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick... Until we meet again. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Master, 
He left with the weaponed Thule, but I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, even for Master. lunges at your foot and bites it. You barged in without an invitation. See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. No, there's plenty of room for me. Now get moving. I'm tired of looking at you. More goblins. What's next? Concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Yes. Yes, you... Sylvanus, the old oak, all death begets life. What can you tell me about this place? You ever scare me like that again, and... Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me.
to ask. I heard what happened. If the So we can risk violence here? Or f you saw what they were willing to do to it? It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. A low thought. But I'd be like... But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. It doesn't sit well with me either. But to get these people, you'd be well rewarded for the risk. But if that won't sway... No, sir. But if... If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. People up ahead. Something's wrong. He's so pale.
You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Hurt badly, and Eulbear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenner. New recruit. Protect them. He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You... Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. I don't know any druids. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? And just... I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. May the Absolute guide us. True soul? Absolute? What did they mean? Whatever it is, the Absolute has a power... Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again.
I wasn't expecting it. But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. What can I say? They were eye-catching. Consider me an art lover.
here for battle. Can't give up now. What's next? Still breathing, despite everything. The gods are watching me. Don't mind if I do. breeds madness. Taken. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, 
I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Not easily rattled, I see. Good. Makes the next part that much more straightforward. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around. Watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. This necklace 
the sigil was also in the cave. The harpers have been unusually active here. 